back to the channel again. This is something I'm doing for my fiance for Valentine's Day. I am going to do brakes on her car. Uh, she has a 2017 Lexus IS350. I'm not sure if you've seen the review. Review we linked up here of her car. Um, but this, I'm doing these Akebono brakes. These are like the carbon uh, brakes. I have really good results with these on my Civic, you know, the feel is still there and you know, the, the benefit of it would be reduced brake dust. One of her biggest complaints with the car is the brake dust is really heavy. And when I say heavy, I mean she has a short drive uh, to and from work. And after a week, it looks like she's spent the whole day at the racetrack. And I'm not kidding. Wheels are, the front wheels are always like black, the brake dust. And I'm assuming it's the high friction compound used by Lexus. For day to day use, it's really a lot especially to keep the car clean and the brake dust gets all inside of the car and everything. So I have the microphone too mounted on the camera with this uh, fuzzy thing. So hopefully there should be any wind noise because it's fairly windy today. And don't worry, I'm still gonna get her some flowers and you know, chocolates and all that stuff. So, you know, ladies out there who think that, you know, you know, I'm still doing that too, just because, but this is something that I think she really appreciate. And like I said, see her wheels. Crazy. The back wheels don't get that much, but you can see here on the side of the car. And where I'm running some older clothes right now because I am going to be cleaning them dirty. But the first thing is is to wash this car. So one of the things I like to use is the Sonex wheel cleaner. This wheel cleaner really works well for dissolving this brake dust. You'll see it turn red over time, and then I use a press washer and just press it right off this uh, wheel. So here we go. Better to apply to a dry wheel and then different angles too to get all in the crevices. I ordered this stuff from Amazon and I have it mainly on an auto delivery every month because I go through so much of it. I mean, it works well. And but the way it works, it needs brake dust to work. It can't, if there's no brake dust in the wheel, it's nothing to cling on to. Now as this color is red, it's pulling off. You don't want it to dry in the wheel. But now is the optimum time for me to go ahead and spray it off. Like I said, I'm gonna do the brakes, and when she comes back, I'm not gonna say anything to her. I'm gonna see if, hold on a second. I'm gonna see if she actually notices. That's the key. If she notices, hey, my wheels aren't as dirty as they used to be. the snow foam and since it's the Super Bowl today that'd be appropriate to use my beer scent snow foam it really smells like beer it's weird
Okay, wheels off. And brakes had this amount of wear, but it looks like for these brakes, only thing I need to do is pull this pin out, slide this out, and these brakes should come out. Uh, looks like there's a little clip in here you need to push out as well. So, pin is out. Let's see if I can get this thing out. slide. These pads are going to be wedged in here a little bit so I like to push in a little bit of the piston. So let's see if I can get them out. So here's one pad. Let's tell you how to brand it. Brake pad. Like I said this is a high performance brake pad. But all this dust it's just a little bit overkill for this type of car okay so that's it simple as that so depending on the type of brakes if your Brembo's had little pins you'll need something like this basically put it in here and you tap it tap them out but this only has one single uh, pin. Sometimes I said sometimes two additional ones. So I'm gonna get this little brake cleaned up, get the new brakes installed, and we'll move to the other side. Alright, so this is a fixed setup. Uh, you don't have the opportunity to put the caliper clamping tool like I used in the Civic brake video. So what I'm going to use, um, these brakes aren't painted, so I don't worry about them getting scratched as far as the paint chipping off. So what I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use a screwdriver, flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna use this to kind of push up against the brake, pull back. Okay, so each time I push one in, another one pops out. And I just keep doing this until I work everything back in place. And I'm double checking up here at the top, make sure that my brake fluid isn't going to overspill, which it shouldn't, because in theory, it's a closed system. Your brakes don't consume fluid. So unless the dealership topped it off in between the service, which they shouldn't do, it shouldn't you shouldn't overfill, because essentially you're just pushing the fluid that was originally in the system back into the master cylinder. Brake is going to have a wear sensor, only one pad, only one side, so you need to make sure that you get the right pad on here. Looks like these brakes have seen a lot of wear because you could tell if I compare it to this brake here, you can see that uh, it's decent. know there are distinct sounds my neighborhood kind of busts up against the road and there's a traffic light and every once in a while I hear a car speeding through racing up the stoplight and I can almost tell you which car That's it. That's all there is. Okay, yeah, since the wheel is off, it's a good time to do a good old tire inspection before I put this wheel back on. Here, 
this is what you see from the outside and it looks good however this is the inside you never see this tread this is not good these tires need to be replaced really soon so I may just go in and order her some tires you know these these aren't going to be good enough I mean like I said it's doing enough tread for the rain but this is going to this is what, what's going to happen is um, this is going to show the belts it's going to show the uh, what's going to wear out first and then you're going to have pretty good tread here so it's not going to be like I would say dangerous as far as her driving in the rain and hydroplaning but it will be dangerous in terms of this tread wearing out to the point where she could have a blowout and I need to get this replaced. So nice having wheel studs. Like, like the BMWs where you have to line them up, hold it, put a stud in, or a lug stud in there, hold it in place. I have eight percent battery life. Let's see how fast I can do this change without uh, before the battery runs out. 25. left is just to torque the bolts so all right guys so today is Valentine's Day and after a little over a week of driving this car she hasn't said anything haven't noticed that the wheels aren't getting the amount of brake dust that they have and looking at them myself these wheels are pretty pretty clean considering what they used to be uh, they're just small layer but nothing noticeable you know I would wipe my finger across the rim and it wasn't like it was before um, but I love these brake pads. Uh, I took the car out last night. I told her I put some fuel in it and when I was driving it It just the initial bite is still there like factory and I feel like it even performed slightly a little bit better, but it feels it retains the stock uh, brake feel but uh, We'll see um, I'm, Like the today's Valentine's Day. I haven't decided if I would tell her yet or maybe I just maybe I just tell her say hey, look I changed the brake pads on your car. But anyway, we'll see uh, but guys, thanks for watching and subscribe for more. And like I said before, about flowers, I did order flowers. They placed an order and she was originally supposed to work today. So the flowers are going to be delivered to her place 
of employment and unfortunately she will not be there so I mean uh, just a, a kind of a fail on my end but like I said I had no way to predict uh, if she was gonna be working or not you know it's just one of those rare things that just happened so um, I don't know what I'm gonna do maybe I have to go up and grab the flowers at work I don't know how that's gonna work out or they just maybe sit there until she next time she works hopefully they don't die so all right guys thanks for watching